cos of alpha plus 720 over sine squared 180 degrees plus theta times by cos alpha plus 90. Again, that plus 720 is way too big. So I'm going to subtract 360 and I'm going to subtract 360 again, leaving me with just cos of alpha. Okay, not negatives or positives or anything, it's just cos of alpha because the 720 just fell away. Okay? Now let's have a look at the bottom. The bottom is where life becomes quite interesting. Now because, okay, before I go too far, side note, if ever you get something like sine squared something, or cos squared something, or please do this. Okay, move the square outside. The reason I want you to do this is if you, for instance, get tan squared 135, a lot of my students go and say, okay, but tan in the second quadrant is negative, and it's 180 minus 45, so it's negative tan squared 45. And then I mark it wrong. Why is it wrong? Because that square actually counts for all, including the negative. So it's actually positive tan squared 45 or just tan squared 45. Be careful of squares, cubes, fourth powers, all of those, because we need to move it outside. Like in this case, sine of 180 plus is third quadrant, so I'm actually at negative sine theta squared. Cos 90 makes it sine, but because it's in the second quadrant, it's negative sine of alpha. And I know that because cos is negative there. But now I'm sitting with kind of a big issue. Tiny little issue. What is my tiny little issue here? Yes. One is theta, one is alpha. I can do nothing if there aren't any, if all the angles are not the same. Ladies and gents, listen to that. I cannot do anything unless the angles are the, here again comes my obsession with having angles the same. But I know that alpha plus theta is 90 degrees. So I'm looking at co-functions. So I can go and change my theta to an alpha by going theta is 90 degrees minus alpha. Why do I do that? Because of my obsession. It's a bit OCD, okay? It's a bit OCD, but it works for me. So now, I'm going to say, well, cos of alpha, I'm going to square that, so it's a positive. Sine of 90 minus is cos squared alpha times by negative 
sine alpha. Now the wonderful thing is now that cos can divide away with one of those, leaving me with 1 over negative cos alpha sine alpha. Everyone's all right with that. Now, I know it freaks some of, especially some of you guys out who feel like, but, but sir, we only need what, we, we, can't we simplify that further? No, you can't. You leave it. Same with the previous son. You do it until you can't do anything further and you leave it. Because if you are going to now try and manipulate this thing to try and only get causes or signs there, you are going to mess it up. This is how far you can take it.